Jordan and Goff are doing a bit of commentary. I can. Am I ready to go? Miss Rapp, it's live and ready to go. We need a ref. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. This is the men's open final. I can hear you. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing your voice. Choppy on those. There's something seriously wrong with the audio because I just heard you say something in my ear again. I'm. We're testing the audio now. Can anybody hear me out there? If you're in the chat room, who's in there? What's that name? I can't read it. Freddie, can you hear me there? Somebody else let me know. We're going to go uh, check the score. Sorry about that. We uh, The club here has got sketchy um, internet at best. But... As we said, we got uh, Jordan Bark, John Goff, men's open finals. Score is two serves two. These two have played quite a bit. They are doubles. They've been playing doubles together lately. I know they're going to be playing at Sioux Falls. John's been a fixture on the seen in Minnesota for a number of years. Jordan, obviously, was is, look at John's looking at him like right now he wishes Jordan would have got grounded by his mother so he couldn't have came out to play today. His mother, of course, being Meadow Bart. 3-2 is the score here. Jordan, I haven't seen him. Uh, I mean, that's that's still a drive serve, but 
not cranking up like he can or is capable of, right? So, Christine Brown, audio is good, she says. I like it. Yep. So John's going to go up there. John last night was hitting absolute missiles to the backhand corner. But when you're playing somebody like a, a Jordan Barth or John Gaunt, you know, you got to be right on. Tries to go a little bit around the world serve and just a little bit long second serve. backhand splat. It's tough to cover that. I mean, even some of us have a tough time covering that. <laughs> Just kidding. Three serves, two. Goes with the drive Z and tries, tries the Hollywood and it comes up just a little bit short. She's wishing he would uh, could get that one back. Two serves three. And John's uh, John's got to make a little bit of a run here. Take advantage of Jordan's not 100%. Uh, John's call. John wants a short serve. Yep, it was, no, it was a short serve. I thought it was, I don't know, that's kind of... Yep, John's asking him to just, just yell it instead of letting him play out the rally, obviously. It can avoid injury, potential. Second serve, 2-3. We'll go with that drive Z. There's, that's John Goth right there. That's classic John Goth, you know, he'd... A good serve, a uh, return that is a little less than normal standards for Jordan, and John puts it back away. So, 3-3. Three, three. I suspect. 4-3 John. Jordan cleans the wall with his tongue. I'm suspecting that Jordan might be done messing around, and when he gets back in the box, I'd expect to see him hit some drive serves. It's amazing when you see Jordan do that shot where he just kind of reaches out and doesn't really take a swing, but flicks it with his wrist, and it's he creates... Even doing that, he creates so much power. He's got that buggy whip swing. It's uh, so that wrist. I mean, he's a baseball player, as we all know. And he's going to go with the drive Z. Beautiful pinch. Beautiful pinch. They're both talking to themselves. You know, they don't know which. The scary part is if they start answering each other. Good serve, set up, he'll shoot this. Flat off the front wall. Low and flat. That's the Jordan Barth way. Five, uh, five, four. Yeah. Five, four is the score, Jordan Barth. That's what I'm talking about right there, that forehand. That's a good get, that forehand where he was running up there and just flicks it with his wrist, but still powerful. 6-4. Six, four. Six, four. The unique part is these two get a play together in the next one in the doubles final. They're partners in that. Oh, he got him. He got him. He got him. Timeout called, 7-4. John was trying to jump on. That's the that's the advantage of getting that first serve in, especially when you're doing that drive Z serve. You know, it's kind of like uh, to use some boxing analogy. It's like body shots. You you hit them with enough body shots, they're gonna drop their gloves, and then it opens up the the haymaker. So he was hitting that drive Z into that backhand corner, drive Z back in, and there were good ones. John 
was creeping over a little bit more and more each time. Jordan noticed that, and so he set up, same setup. Everything looked the same except for he drove it to the forehand side. Got a fr uh, easy ace there. Free point. Anytime you can get free points in these matches, you, you got to take advantage of that. So I think Jordan's doing a little bit to save himself. Um, by no means it, can he rest on this because he, if he tries to rest on this and not take it as serious, uh, John Goff is more than capable of uh, taking it to him and, and stealing a victory here. Um, I would believe that Jordan would be considered the favorite here. Um, he, uh, he definitely is the, would be the fan favorite here since we're at his home club, of course, but he, uh, um, I think he probably has a pretty good record against John, too. There he's right back to that drive Z. John comes up just a little short. The old 39-foot shot on a 40-foot court. Well, for those of you who don't know, that's Mr. Nick Arms, the resident AV geek. Who apparently needs to get a new prescription for eyeglasses. If he thought that one was good, that yeah, was definitely a skip. Yeah, well, that's it's your story. You tell it any way you want. But we're going to watch this one here. I'm going to let you talk while John's serving since you play with him. And judging from John's reaction, he knew it was bad. Yeah, that's what happens when you skip it. <laughs> oh, remind me to get a ref next time we play. Um, anyway, let's see what... Oh, he's look at that. We don't need to piggyback ride in the match. Just just call the hinder and let's play it over. No piggybacks allowed. Not enough room in the court. Yep. Yeah, let's see if Jordan sticks with that drive Z. There we go. Kid's got an incredible get ability. Not getting that one. Not getting that one. Nice shot, John. Nice shot. Yep, was good. That was a great wide angle pass. You know, Jordan, it's tough to get the ball past him. I mean, he's, you know, he's long, he's uh, tall, and he's very quick. His court awareness and anticipation is up there with the best of them. Hey, John looks like he's set up to go for that drive serve to the backhand. And, and just like that, I, I say he's going for that drive serve to the backhand, and he goes to the forehand. Yeah, yeah, yep, he would love to. He knows it's a, it's a tall task, but he's got to play. Especially if your opponent's going to do that from 40 feet. That was a missile. You know, John John obviously has been in many big matches, so it, he's not afraid to play it, certainly. So he's certainly going to uh, give it his all. That's John. That's John Goth right there. Yep. Correct. Yep. 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 And that's classic John Goth right there. Straight in, straight out. If you can get it, great. Nothing fancy. Yep. But he can do the fancy if he has to. He's a... And then same guy. Same guy. <laughs> Yeah, that might have been the order of the day for that shot. Yeah. So the confidence you have when you when to hit this drive Z on second serve, I mean that's a big thing because it's 
keeps John on his feet. Well, that's a good get. That's around the world. John decides to reset, goes back to the ceiling. Jordan shoots it from 39. It skipped in. Skipped in floor, side wall, front wall. And John and I had actually talked earlier before this match about, about uh, Jordan's ability to do those Z shot slams from the back court. Yep. And, and he's, 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 John's very aware of them. Oh, yeah. That's why he was up there on that one. That was a good get. Yep. It's a beautiful shot there. John, John's busy congratulating himself on a good serve, but a better return to from Jordan. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Sometimes you just do the best you can, and if your opponent gets it and does better, then you tip your hat. You really need to go to an eye doctor because that was a good serve. It's interesting to see a little bit of the change in Jordan, you know, he's he went away from that drive Z and he's kind of doing a, a little bit of banter back and forth. Stop diving and stop. That was that was a lot short. I was going to help you. Oh, let me help you out with that one, buddy. Yeah. See, if he goes with that nick he was doing earlier, it's really tough when your opponent's... That's John Goth right there. Yep. Yep. Hit it where they're not. You know? He's going to... He's not... He's certainly not going to roll over for him, right? I mean, he's going to... Six serves nine. All right, we're back. John's asking the ref if it should be a screen serve. This is, this is, this is a... yep. They're friends. They don't want to call that on each other, Absolutely. but they both want to win. You know, and they just, instead of getting, you know, yeah. And, and, ref, but he's not, you know, a ref in the Senate Senate. Well, you can't, I mean, that's giving away points, right? No, they won't. They both have the, but at the same time, I mean. Yeah, it's funny. Then you start to see guys, yeah. But my point being is this is the open finals, right? If I'm in it, which I never will be, but let's just say for some freaking nature I'm ever in it, you're damn sure I'm going to make sure there's a ref just because it's one less thing I don't want to have to worry about. I just want to go in and try and play my game, you know? Even even especially when you're playing against someone you're friendly with, your doubles partner, I mean, it's... So here's another screen serve. You know, that John's starting to get frustrated too, and, and he can't afford to do that. He needs... Well, what we need really is a, and there's no disrespect to the person who's who is doing the score keep in the refing now, but they told him to just score keep, right? So now all of a sudden they want him to call the sc shorts and the, you know, I mean, it, it, exactly. So you either have a ref or you don't. In my opinion, you do. You do, especially for this. Now, if it's one of my matches, you know, a, a D singles final, Consolation side. Well, you probably don't need it. Oh, uh, that could have been ugly. John was kind of losing his balance. Jordan coming forward. See if we can get the score here. 11-6, we think. 12-6. 12-6, Jordan. I think he wants to finish this one out. He doesn't want to come out of the box again. Just kind of hitting that. Well, there you go. No. He never will. He never will. He'll fight till the end. He's going to get his head back here, hopefully. Just take his time. This is, this is typical classic John as well. He, he kicks the ball up front and yep. he takes his time. He needs his glasses. Yeah. He thinks through. He knows what he's doing. He's already got four or five scenarios. Scenarios to what to do. Yep. And, and here's, here's hopefully the XQ. 
<laughs> it was him and Woody Clow. Oh, a little bit between the legs. <laughs> you can't leave that up to Jordan. Yep, he was. Yeah. We need chairs. That's what we need. Yep, yep, yep. Hold, hold my mic. So 12, 12 6 again. Second serve. 13 6. I'm sorry, I looked down for a second. John wasn't expecting him to let it go. There you go. It's just. Oh, he got it. The kitten. Wow, that is, that is amazing, Gets. Wow, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's that's that is crazy stuff right there. Yep. Great rally, great rally. Walking around there. Yep. Not enough air in the court. The modified drive. Almost got him on the ace, but he got a weak return. Yep, was... Down the line. Yeah, good game. Good game, guys. <laughs> yep. That was, uh, that was impressive. Yep, it was. Or was 15. Short yeah, well, you can think all you want, and, you know, that's all. That's all. All right, what what can I do different this one? Try to make some adjustments. Again, he's been in big matches before. I believe he was in the Pan Am games with Woody Klaus. Um, you know, he's playing, you know, he's playing. He's play and singles and doubles. Um, so he's not, he's not, uh, it's not foreign to him to be in a tough match. I agree, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, mean, I think he understands what he needs to do to make the adjustment. It's just whether or not he can, you know, like, uh, Jordan obviously makes changes as he goes to a degree, and he's Correct. very good at that. So, um, Correct. Yeah, you've seen him, uh, like I've said, I really... Right. Yep. Plus, he's got that great Z, deep Z, that, that just it just kind of sits there. It, it doesn't do anything, and you can't do anything. Either you go off the back wall, and, and it's, it's done. done. He's got you, and if you try and cut it off, then you know you, you're most likely going to flub it anyway. He's going to do it. Again. Correct, and it's way easier on your arm yeah, to hit that serve. I mean, why do you think uh, there's a certain guy that's been playing for about 20 some years on the tour? Rocky Carson uses that serve a lot because, you know, if you can generate, if you can save your arm a little bit, yeah. generate a weak return, turn, turn. Kind of the keys to the success in that game for Jordan. I'd expect him to make some minor adjustments too, just to just to give uh, John just a little bit different look, you know, because he knows John's going to make the adjustment. Maybe try to cut that thing off instead of uh, letting it get all up on him. On him. On him. Agree, and I think uh, I think John will come back. Classic John. He'll do his thing if he plays his game and he sets into himself. And, you know, he's he's going to get more points. I think this time. So he's got uh, he's got. Jordan definitely sweating it out and making it, you know, making him step up. He's making him play a harder game, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. And we're, uh, 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 The video's definitely frozen. Dad, gum it. Just, we're going to... We'll for sure make some different adjustments for our next soiree into this, but. Jordan pointing. <laughs> When John asked him if it was good or not. The audio isn't working very well. Yeah, Freddie, we know. We're trying. John a little frustrated with that one. I think he wants that one back.
2-0, Jordan. We'll see if that doesn't fix the uh, if that doesn't fix the audio. <laughs> we just everything we just said went on the stream. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep talking in hopes that somehow it at least is y'all can hear. Zero serves three. John Goth in the box. And he's moving over to the left side of the box. Looks like he's going to do a little drive Z of his own. And Jordan stands over there, goes for the Hollywood between the legs, and it works. John wishes he had that one back. And he's just got to work on getting him out of the box, which is no easy feat for a gentleman such as Mr. Jordan Barth. Oh, that's a really good shot from John. Really good. He disguised that well. Jordan thought he was going back down the line, and he went cross court with it. Really good. It's a tough shot from 39 and three quarters foot on a 40 foot court. Zero three. Let's see if the old veteran. There's a pretty decent serve. Hit that side wall. I bet you he wishes he had both those back. He thought about smashing his own toe with his racket, and then he realized he's just only hurting himself. So he's raising his arm in the back of the court, trying to slow down the young fella. Three serves zero. That ball is absolutely on the wall, and he swings away with everything he owns and somehow doesn't break his arm, his racket, the wall, the ball. The strings, nothing. And gets a point out of it. Four serves zero. You got... Uh, John goes to the ceiling. Jordan will shoot that. That's a pretty sweet shot in the front left corner. I do that in my dreams. And then the alarm clock goes off and I get up and go to work. Five serves zero. John's trying to slow him down. I don't know that... A parachute would slow him down right now. He's got that determination. As I said, the uh, now you see him, see him, see him. Floor five zero. Like I said, he's uh, cranking that up now. And that's just he's coming in there, uh, laser right over the line and diving in that back corner. We are on a timeout right now. Game number two, men's open final. Jordan Barth versus John Goff. Um, Jordan with a commanding 5-0 lead. He's got John shaking his head when he starts hitting that laser.